Hey guys, I'm Ryo Takashi. I'm a cinematographer, director based in Tokyo, Japan. So today I'm gonna be talking about affordable cine lens. So in terms of the Alexa classic filmmaking, we have to get the cine lenses because Alexa classic has no electric control. I mean, uh, we cannot uh, control the aperture inside the body. So we take care of the aperture, uh, the cine lenses, aperture link. But cine lenses are so expensive on the market. So for me, I bought my Alexa Classic maybe one year ago. I paid a lot of money for buying this camera. So I have no money to get the cine lenses. So um, I'm so, you know, upset and, and confused there <laughs> where is the affordable choice but I finally got the nice affordable cine lenses so in this video I'm gonna show that these lenses and I'm gonna introduce these lenses and I'm gonna explain about how I use these lenses so let's get started okay so here is the lens case the hard case. I bought this hard case for the two zoom lenses. So here's the 18 to 35 millimeters, the 50 to 100 millimeter cine zoom lens. So um, this lens brand name is the Cinematics. So um, I wrote the website link, my description page, and um, let's check the, their website. So um, here is the web page, and uh, you can see the um, PC hood and the cinematics. So um, go to the below, and you can see these these lenses. So I bought this cine lens Sigma 15 to 100. T 2.0 EF manual lens and Cine lens Sigma 18 to 35 T2 EF manual lens. So this price is super super cheap in terms of the Cine lenses. So let's check this website. So um so here is um, their detail page and uh, yeah. You can see the description, the customer cine lens Sigma 50 to 100 millimeters T 2.0. So um, basically this company made this cine lens from the Sigma Art lens. So you can see this, the original lens is Sigma Art 50 to 100 millimeters. So if you have experience to use the Sigma Art lens. These two lens, literally glass is the same. So you can get the same image. I have the Art lens and the same zoom lens in the Art series. And I use Sigma Art lens with the Arsa Mini Pro G2 and the BMPC 4K. And this lens looks like same. And this cinematics lens has uh, three rings. This one is the focus. This one for the change the angle wide to the zoom. And this one is the aperture so, so Alexa needs this function because Alexa has no electric control system with the body so if you put your Sigma Art lens into the uh, Alexa mount this is not working you cannot control the aperture in the body so this manual Aperture link is the super important. 
so you have to get and you need to get the these kind of lens if you buy the Ali Alexa Classic. This is a super super affordable because maybe Sigma Art Lens, I mean the photo lenses, is the same price, around the same price. So you can get the super nice quality lens in the budget. So my recommendation and my affordable choice is this lens. But uh, there is uh, one problem. These affordable cine lens has an EF mount. So how to put to the Alexa PL mount. So you should convert the PL to EF mount. So how are we gonna do? So there is a solution. So let's check that this website, this company name is a latex. So here is the website. You can easily find the these canal mount for Ali Alexa menu. So you can click this and the page show up. So this image is what I want. Scroll and you can find the instructions for Ali Alexa. So I literally do the same process and I bought this latex EF mount and I attach this process. So yeah, this is a super easy and uh, but you should be careful. Don't touch the sensor, Alexa, nice sensor. So, and here is the instruction video in the website. So you should check before you buy your latex mount. So this is a disclaimer things, but um, I'm not guarantee the this latex mount works well in your Alexa camera. But for me, my Alexa, it works well so far. And I can use these kind of cinematics lens and also I can use the vintage lenses. So latex mount is a nice choice to convert PL to EF mount. So this is my solutions and this is my recommendation. And additionally, I use the ND filters onto the, this big cine lenses. So this lens diameter is the 140, 14, 114. So I use the, this ND filter, easy paleo ND filter, right? Yes. So um, this Nizi Balio and the filter can easily change the ND value like this. And why I bought this ND filter? Because this ND filter diameter is the same as this cine lenses. So we can easily put this Nizi lenses on and uh, in front of this cine lenses. So, if you want to change the LD value, easily you can change like this, right? And why I use this LD filter? Because Alexa camera has no internal LD filter. If you want to use the LD filter, you should use the matte box. But the image style, I usually do that using the easily so maybe it's a super overwhelming weight to manage the white man band or the small glue. Basically I use this LD filter because it's super um, easy and uh, if you are in the land and gun situation this filter is super helpful tool to manage the NOD value. Okay.
So this is a additional information for this affordable cine lens. So how about this video? In terms of cine lenses, there are a lot of choice and a lot of the good lenses. But if we want to get the affordable cine lenses, suddenly there are no choice and there are few choices. But this cinematic lens is a lifesaver for the indie filmmakers and if you are interested in to get the Ali Alexa classic for me and um, this lens is uh, super good and uh, I use this two cine zoom lenses for the client work and uh, personal work it works well so far and uh, I'm really satisfied with this image quality so yeah this one set is my recommendation. I hope this video will help your Alexa classic film making. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.